Hello, onliners. Um, sorry if there was a long lead up there. Um, unfortunately, the recording button got stuck. So, welcome. I'm Mr. Rogers. If you never had me before, uh, welcome to my class. If you haven't before, you kind of know who I am and how I kind of run my class and how I uh, operate. So, I hope this school year goes well. Obviously, you're online and that's a okay. Uh, as I said in the email, my hope is really for you to have an education that is equal uh, to everyone that is here, and uh, I'm going to try to offer as many opportunities to you guys to learn, uh, and hopefully not in just a standard textbook kind of way that's going to be presented to you online. I want to try to add and fill in as much as I possibly can, because I believe you guys deserve that. You guys deserve an education just as good as everybody else, um, even though you chose to be at home, which is no big deal. So uh, today, obviously, it's our first day, and I want to make sure that everyone feels comfortable with what is going on in biology, because realistically, yeah, this is what we're going over class today, and this is how we're kind of dealing with everything. So our schedule is a little messed up on the first day. You can kind of see it on the right side of the screen. You kind of see how um, the hours kind of line up. The first hour, we're going to talk a little bit extra about um, safety protocols for COVID and things like that. So that's why it's a little bit longer. So you are allowed every single day to join my classroom. And so realistically, no one else can see you. No one else can hear you. Um, the only way you can really contact me is through the chat bar. Um, but you are allowed to see and hear what is going on in my classroom. And I, sometimes that won't be very helpful because we'll be doing different things. Sometimes it will be more helpful. Or if you need my help right away, you can try to get on there and try to get a hold of me. And that way I can try to get help to you right away. Um, so the first day, you can join in. If you don't want to, that's fine. You're watching this video. That, that kind of alleviates any issues. So I'm Mr. Rogers, like I said. Uh, introduction to myself. Uh, Realistically, I have been teaching for my 11th year teaching overall. I've taught at, taught at the college level, I've taught at the middle school level, I've taught at the high school level. Uh, this is my 10th year teaching biology. Um, it's one of my favorite classes to teach. I love living things, I love talking about it, I love thinking about living things. And so this is my favorite class probably to teach at the high school level. Now, some other things about me. I got my degree from Ferris. I was originally gonna be a pharmacist. And I decided after becoming a pharmacist that it wasn't much fun. It wasn't for me. I'm not downing pharmacists at all. They're great people, but it just wasn't my career. It wasn't my dream job. Uh, during that time, I was teaching at college, and I, I found my love for teaching, and I became a teacher. I've been a principal, too, uh, at a different uh, school, um, but I came back to teaching because I really missed it. And so I'm here now hopefully uh, able to teach you at a very, very high level. Now, besides that, I have a wife who teaches fourth grade at Cherry Street. Um, and some of your siblings might have had her or um, might have seen her before. And then I also have a daughter who is currently four months old. So um, that was an interesting, it was interesting to give birth to, well, I didn't give birth, my, my wife gave birth to a child during a pandemic, but we got through it and we're all okay. So today, besides getting to know me, obviously you just did, we're gonna kind of talk about the class a little bit. And your class is gonna set up a little bit different than everybody else's, but I still wanna show you what they have. So today when they showed up, they got this piece of paper right here. Let me close that down. Um, this piece of paper has a couple different things. And you can find this actually online, um, available on your Gen Net, which we'll get to in a second. So. Because you're online, there's a bunch of different online sites, even for people that are here. So first, there's still PowerSchool. PowerSchool is where you guys are gonna check your grades. It's where you're gonna see everything. There is now Otis. Otis is kind of like a connection between PowerSchool and more teacher ad or administrative principal things than it is for you guys. But Otis is a way to get around everywhere. So Otis is probably where you're gonna start. If you go to otis.com and you go to this, classroom, this biology classroom, you can go to the class board and you can actually find links to different things and a welcome and a syllabus and all this other stuff. So if you do that, if you do that right now, go to otis.com, log in with your Google. I think you just hit the Google button. 
with your school email, you'll go to the class board and you'll see a bunch of different things. One of the big things you'll see is something called Canvas. Another word for it is GenNet. You're gonna hear these words a lot interchanged. I like to call it Canvas. On this intro to biology page, I put GenNet. It doesn't really matter either way. You can click that. That is actually where your class is going to be. That is where it's located. All the assignments will be there. You will turn in all your assignments there. It is something that is just where you're basically going to be doing your class, like it's a classroom. Okay. Um, I will assign everything in there. There's a good chance that almost every single thing you turn in for points will be done through there. There's a chance that we might do a little bit in Otis, but most of it will be there. You also see up top here, there is a remind. Um, there, there is a remind and there is a class code up there so you can join. Uh, you guys are online, so it is biology net. And so as a class code, all the bio kids will be together, which is fine. Google Classroom, again, it's gonna be all online. Bio kids will be together, no matter if you're from first or fourth hour. You can join in. Google Classroom is not really going to be used for much. It's kind of my way to, um, as a catch-all, uh, another way to find you guys or um, talk to you guys. Also, it's a way that we can connect Go Guardian and other programs through for the class. So I know it's a lot. We'll get through it. So first, go to Otis, and it'll lead you everywhere else you need to go. So course introduction. So biology is a class about living things. And you can read through the one page on your own or you can just kind of skim through it on the screen currently. Our main idea here though, is we're gonna be talking about cells. We're talking about how those cells then became more complex organisms, how those complex organisms live, um, how cells themselves, how they divide, how they reproduce, how genetics works and how you look like next to your mom and dad, um, how we can produce a human being from one cell to, um, you're about 75 to 100 trillion cells. So going from one to that number. We're gonna talk about evolution of life. So how living things have changed over time. It's the idea of evolution. And we're gonna do a little bit of anatomy at the end if we have a chance to. Um, your required materials, you don't really need a textbook because you're online. Everything is right there online for you. A writing utensil, obviously you guys are at home, so pen and pencil you got. Notes, we'll take some notes. Uh, some of this will be on the computer, some of this will be on paper, and then binder folders to keep everything together. I would kind of treat your day just like you're at school. If that's that's just my opinion, I would still wake up just the same on the same time, go through the school day just like you normally would. Do not get behind. This is not like a normal online class. Every single day, I'm putting up just as much as I would be doing if you were here. This is not like spring where I gave one assignment a week or teachers gave one or two assignments a week. I will be treating you like you're here 45 minutes to an hour every single day. So if you don't do it every single day, you're going to be so overloaded that there's almost no way to come back. So please do it every single day. If you need help, obviously contact me. You'll see on the side there, formative assessment, summative assessment, those are some teacher terms. Formative assessment is basically anything that shows me how well you're doing. They're low stakes, things like homework, classwork, things like that. Summative assessment are tests, labs, projects, quizzes. They are things that are more, um, they show me exactly what you know, and they are more high stakes. Now, tests and quizzes in my class, you can take, or you can retake, sorry, up to two weeks after the test. Um, that is important to me that you take them right away. Uh, don't get in the habit of waiting a long period of time and not getting them retaken. You may retake if you have an 80%, you may retake if you have a 0%. You have to retake though, because you have to show me that you know information to pass my class. If I feel like you don't understand the content, and even if you get above a 60%, I will fail you. Uh, school year considerations, those are more about being here, so you guys don't have to worry about them if you wanna read through them, what we're doing here. Um, difference between in-person online classes, obviously, it's going to be a little bit different. I am going to try to add as much stuff as I can to your experience. I don't want it to become just following the book that is on the website um, and all the activities there. I want to add kind of fun things for you guys to do at home. Besides that, I have the syllabus. It's attached on your GenNet. So 
let me kind of show you a couple of things besides that. Um, let me grab it. Give me one quick, quick, quick second. I will move that. Uh, here we go. So this is the virtual activity that you guys need to do today. Um, it's really just a way for us to bounce around and kind of see everything. And so you can see here, one, power school, your task is to log in your power school, nothing too complicated. Email, I want you guys to write a draft email to me. Uh, why I want you guys to write it out to me is not to send it. As you can see, it says do not send. If you send it to me, you get on Mac zero. I want you guys to have my email saved. Um, and I want you to know that you can contact me whenever you need me. Otis, if I go to Otis here, Otis.com, I go to log in. Mine's automatically logged in, but your guys, you might have to hit the Google button. You guys for me are, I'll do online first hour biology. You can see the kids. I can go to class board and you can see all the different things that are posted. So welcome to biology's basic, just explanation of what's going on, canvas link, Google classroom link, remind codes. So next thing I have to do, go to canvas gen net. So I go to canvas through this link here and I need to log in with Google. So I click log in with Google, click the right one, and my access is denied because, you know, school. So you'll go into what you need to go into. Uh, obviously, it'll be a biology class. This is where all your work will be. So you have to find the interest survey in Canvas. So that is going to be your homework tonight. Uh, there will be on Canvas an interest survey for you to complete. Um, it is a pretty straightforward thing. It, kind of, um, it just lets me know who you are what you like to do, what you like to do when you're home, what you, how you've been successful at school, things like that. Next, I need you to sign up for Google Classroom. You'll see that, uh, we, like it says, we won't use Google Classroom much, but it's just for me really to have. It's really quick. You can actually do it in the Otis page. If I go back here to Otis, um, you can see that it's as simple as just clicking the Google Classroom. You guys are the virtual class, so you click here and it automatically makes you join if you sign up for your Google account. And then I would like you guys to sign up for Remind. Um, here it is right here. I would like you to be in the hour uh, that you are assigned, so first hour or fourth hour, um, depending on which one you are, okay? So there's that. Going back to our PowerPoint here. So we did the welcome, you know who I am, the one page. You guys got the virtual assignment. Your homework today is finishing that survey. That is what I need you guys to have done for tomorrow. That's what you're gonna get points for. Um, again, I'm gonna say this 10,000 times the first week. If you need help, please, please, please get help from me. I do not want you guys to be behind. I don't want it to become an excuse that you don't think you can get a hold of me. I don't want to be an excuse that you don't know what's going on. If you do not use your resources, you're an adult at this point, you're a sophomore, you guys are getting your licenses, things like that, you need to take responsibility. If you're not gonna follow through, that's on you. I'm gonna put every resource out there for you to do. I'm gonna be available all the time. I'm always around. You can get a hold of me if you need help. So if you're confused, I get it. There's a lot going on. This is brand new to everybody. Email me if you need help. If you don't, that is completely fine. Tomorrow, we'll be up day two on Canvas, what you need to do, and we'll go from there. So this will be the only day where you get a video made just like this. Maybe, maybe I like this, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But make sure you go to day two tomorrow and keep going. All right, guys, thank you. And I hope everything goes well today for you.